Wait. Well, because it's Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith sucks. It's Mr. Smith. He sets you up Dude, to fail. How dare he give us another pop quiz? Okay, well, literally, I just want to go every binge single Netflix. Week. I don't, You're so lucky and, you have like, a license. Treat myself. Yeah, I have to guys. go to bed. Sorry, bye. See you. Bye. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> Tommy is so hot. I can't believe he invited me over. You have to come with me. Why do I have to be there? He didn't invite me. Because <laughs> you're my best friend and I love you. Plus, I said I wouldn't go unless you could come. I don't know. My dad would be pretty pissed if he knew I went to the house of a boy he hasn't met. <laughs> Gee, Daddy, my friend is really keen on this boy at school, and I know it's 1965, but may I attend as well? Fine. Can you believe that stupid quiz in math today? I swear, that teacher just needs to hurry up and turn to dust. God, that guy is so old. Yeah, he's dumb. I'm leaving for work. I uh, left you some money on the counter so you can buy some pizza for you and your friends. <laughs> Tommy, did you hear me? Okay, Mom. Jeez. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Does anybody want a drink? You should know I only invited her over because I knew you'd be here. She likes you though. Whatever. She's annoying. I like you. What the hell? Marie! I walk away for like two seconds and you move in on the guy I like? He moved towards me. Yeah. Whatever, Don. Sure. I thought you were my friend. Where have you been? I went to a friend's house with Marie. You know during the weekday you're supposed to come straight home. And what friend? This guy that Marie likes. It was just real quick. Marie didn't want to be there alone, so she asked me to go. Well, you know the rules. You're supposed to let us know what you're doing. I'm 16. Why do you treat me like I'm two? Dawn, we've had this discussion. You guys discussion. act like it's still like it was when you were kids. The world is simple and easy. I'm old enough to cross the street by myself, you know. Your mother and I only want you to learn responsibility and accountability. And like it or not, you are not as grown up as you think you are, young lady, and there's going to be some consequences. What consequences? Give me your phone. I'm the one that pays for it, and you'll get it back when you can learn to do what we want you to do. I do my chores. I do my homework. I try my best at school. What more do you want? Always try my hardest even when I don't want to do something, but you guys don't see that. Phone! Jeez, kids, was I ever this bad? They don't know how much my life sucks. They expect me to be perfect. How would they feel if I wasn't here for them to pick on?
apologize to Dawn. For what? I think sometimes you push her too hard. I just know she can do better. I don't want her falling into bad habits. She's just a kid and she's going to make mistakes. She needs to feel that you're there to love her and support her. I do love her. She needs you to show it and not just say it. I'll take her shopping today. Maybe she'll enjoy some daddy-daughter time. Where's Dawn? What do you mean? She's not in the bedroom, or the kitchen, or the living room. Maybe she went to Marie's? Without telling us? Call her on her cell. She knows to at least tell us when and where she's going. Straight to voicemail, damn it! The number you have reached is unavailable. Leave a message at the tone. Dawn, you need to call. I know you're upset, but you know the rule about telling us when you go somewhere. I'll try her in a minute. She might just be ignoring you. Ha, ha, ha. It's okay. She'll forgive you. She loves you even when you're hard on her. Damn, I'm dumb. I took her phone away yesterday. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to say it. She was pretty upset yesterday. I'll call over to Marie's and see if she's at her house. Man, talk about a plan backfiring. <laughs> Thanks, Murray. If you happen to hear anything from her, please have her give me a call. She hasn't heard anything either. Well, we better call the cops then. Yes, I need to report my missing daughter. Yes, we woke up this morning and she was gone. Yeah, we've already contacted everyone we know and nobody's heard anything from her. Yes, she's 16, brown hair, brown eyes, five foot four, and about 120 pounds. Twenty four hours? My daughter's been missing, and you can't do anything about it for 24 hours? Really? Really? What are we going to do? Let's go. We'll find her. Where do we look? I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out.
Hey, little girl, you lost your something? Hey, wait up there, sweetness. I just want to talk to you. Where are you going so fast, huh? Leave me alone. Hey, no, it's all good. I'm Jackson. I don't know where your hand's been, so no, I don't think so. Damn, girl, you ain't got to be so mean. I'm Dawn. There, now we met. Now leave me alone. Okay, Dawn. I'll be seeing you again. Don't count on it, freak. Hey, get it going. Make me my money. Damn. Okay, baby, hang on. Here we go. I guess I brought on to myself for him to push me. She hates everybody. Oh, one second. I think I got it. Hello? Hi, Naomi. Yeah, this is um, Dawn's mom. Have you seen her? Uh, no, sorry, I haven't seen her. There's a small park up here on the right, so be watching that area while I'm driving. Traffic's really heavy today. Okay. I'll still keep trying to watch to the left. This was our favorite park. I don't see her. No, we can check some other parks and come back. Trying to bring your whipping post home? No way am I going back to that misery. Hey, Luscious. You know, I could make it so you don't gotta sleep here because this is just nasty. What are you doing here? Don't you have some hookers to beat on or something? <laughs> Damn, girl, you're feisty. It's all good, though. Beating on hookers. No, I didn't like that. I take care of my bitches. Sure it isn't like that. I mean, sure. I gotta put them in check every once in a while, but they ain't getting beat. I can't damage my merchandise, baby. That'd be bad for business. Hey, buddy. 
Spare dollar for a homeless veteran? Piss off, old man. I will if you leave the girl alone. <clears throat> Alright, here's the deal. How about you mind your own damn business, and maybe I'll let you walk away. What you gonna do, old man? <laughs> Later, sweetness. Thanks, but I was okay. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Who the hell are you anyway? Some kind of vagrant Superman? Look, I'm sorry, but my life is just sucking right now. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm Gary. I'm Don. By the way, if you need to borrow my blanket again, just let me know. I live right over there. It's been 24 hours since we last saw our daughter, and no one has heard from her. We would have thought that she would have at least let one of her friends know where she was. I understand. I'm gonna do everything I can to find your daughter. Just don't lose hope. Is there anything we can do? We can't just sit by the phone and wait. Sir, unfortunately, right now, sitting at home is probably going to be the best thing you can do. She may call or come home. So I'm going to ask you to stay at home, and we'll do our job. She doesn't even have her phone with her. Keep checking with her friends. Maybe send a friend to a place that she would hang out. Look, if you guys can think of any information, that would be important to me. And please make sure that you give me a call. Thank you. <sighs> Detective Jones, sir? What is it, Fields? Is there anything I can do to help you out with this case? Field, how long have you been in missing persons? A couple weeks, sir. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do for me. Field, we can take care of the case for now. Be patient, man. Your time's gonna come. Thank you, sir. Smitty, get in here. What's up, Jonesy? We got a case. We need to move on it fast. So, I'm gonna need you to beat the bushes and see what flies out. Okay, let me make some phone calls. You all right, man? I'm all right. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna find her. I'm sorry for what I said to you earlier. It was kind of mean. It's okay. You should be cautious of anyone you don't know. You sound like my dad. Well, I'm sure he loves you very much. Loves me? He expects me to be this perfect little robot that does what she's told. 
And if I mess up, I have to get lectured. My parents don't understand how hard it is for me. Do you think it's ever hard for your parents? No way. They do whatever they want. They don't force the rules onto me. They're very much do as I say attitude. Do they abuse you? No, but sometimes I get grounded or yelled at and it makes me feel like I'm not good enough. How do you feel right now? Like I'm not good enough and I don't matter. You know, most of us feel that way a lot of the time. But if we let it control us, the only place it's going to lead is deeper into the darkness. Okay, great and powerful one. Um, um. So, why did you come here? I mean, don't you have friends or family that you could have gotten to stay with? Friends, yeah, but... If I ran away to their house, their parents would have called mine. Then I would have had gone home and yada, yada, yada. You know, it is dangerous out here. Especially for a young girl like you. I have a cat at home, but I couldn't bring her. So I brought my travel buddy. <laughs> He'll keep me safe. Well, ain't he a cute one? But do you really think a stuffed animal is going to keep you safe out here? Monsters are for real here. So why do you live in the alley, Gary? It's my home now. Besides, I have to take care of my friends that live there. Don't you have a family? I used to. I had a wife and a daughter. So what? Why aren't you with them? Well, my wife died and my daughter grew up. Guess we just kind of drifted apart. So you don't talk to her at all? It's been a few years, but it's okay. She has her life, I have mine. Whatever. Gary? Eh, you know. <laughs> yep. Any day above the ground's a good day. Uh, looks like I owe you 1050. See you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. All the time, but I have to take care of my new family now. That almost sounds cold. Maybe, but she has her own life and I'm sure she's happier that way. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Why do you think you just should apart from your daughter? Not sure, really. You remind me of her, though. Her name's Catherine. How so? She was always very inquisitive. She always wanted to know the hows and whys of how things worked, especially people. I guess that's why she became a doctor. My dad's like that. He likes to take things apart to see how they work. Sometimes I sit and watch him figure it out. He shows me what he's learned, kind of like a school teacher. I don't tell him, but I enjoy when he does that. Sounds like your dad's a great guy. Yeah, I guess. Except he doesn't think I try my hardest. 
Do you think that maybe he isn't doing that to try to be mean, but that he's so proud of you and he has a higher expectation for you? What do you mean? Just that he sees greatness in you that maybe you don't see, and he's trying to bring it out of you. Never thought of it like that. When I was in the Army, my sergeants used to scream and yell all the time. Now, they used negative reinforcement to try to push me to do my best, and I hated it until I realized that they were only doing that to try to make me go beyond what I thought I could go. Sounds like it would work for you, but it wouldn't work for me. Well, you never know. My point is, sometimes the motivation to do our best comes from places we don't see right away. I want to show you a place I loved when I was younger. Where might that be? It's a park not that far from the alley. My dad used to take me there. Okay, but do they have parking big enough for our car? <laughs> My dad used to push me on that swing over there. I'm curious why you ran away from home. I mean, you seem to have a loving family that only wanted the best for you. They wanted me to be something that I wasn't. They expected perfection that I couldn't live up to. Well, you've said that, but it seems to me that in spite of what you might think, they were proud of you no matter what you did. What happened that made you finally leave? I don't really want to talk about it. I know sometimes it seems like the world's out to get you and that your parents are part of some grand scheme to ruin your life, but I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. But that's how it always feels like. I feel like I can never do anything right. Do your parents ever tell you that you can't do anything right? Well, no, but... Well, then if they're not telling you that, why should you feel that? Don't read into things that aren't being said and make more of it than what it is. That's just stubbornness. You don't know what it's like. Yeah, I do. My expectations of Catherine are what I believe drove her away. I never really wanted to admit that before. See what my stubbornness got me? I pushed her and she pushed back and then I would push harder. And now, all I have is a head full of memories and regrets. I have an idea. I've always loved watching documentaries about history. I saw this show once about soldiers in World War II carry around containers from all the places they've been in Europe. Something about it being memories of the places. Since you're so sad about all the bad memories, let's make a new one, a happy one. Well, come on, you're part of this new memory. You have to put some in the bottle too. a missing 16-year-old girl. Here is her photo. She was last seen 36 hours. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing.
There you go, Jeff. Some of that hot sauce you like so much. Choice. Crackers. And honey. Oh, Gary, you're a saint. Thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? Got something for you. I think you're going to like it. Oh, well, thank you. You, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Appreciate it. That way, when I have a bad memory, I can just look at that and think of a good one. What you got there? I packed this before I left my house. Want some? You want some, Daddy? Where'd you get that deliciousness from? Well, I packed it in my lunchbox. Of course I'll have some. That's my favorite candy. Thank you. I absolutely love chocolate. Mm. It's amazing how the little things in life bring so much joy, isn't it? it sure is. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, man. I went, uh, I owe you one, okay? <sighs> what do we got? Lead on the pimp that likes some young, really young. Wouldn't happen to be this guy, would it? His name is, uh, Jackson. Bobby Jackson. Man, that's him. What do we have on him? Well, it looks like Vice has been watching him for a while. Got some assaults, extortion, narcotics distribution. Oh, here's something interesting. He's wanted in a string of kidnappings as well. And why hasn't he popped up on our radar before now? Uh, it looks like Vice has been keeping an eye on him, hoping that he would lead him to their supplier. Man, I swear. If those dumbasses and Vices would have moved a little sooner, maybe we could have closed some of the cases that we had. Maybe. Well, let's go have a talk with old Bobby. If it was my daughter, I would want somebody to tell me where she was. Yeah. And I should do it. I should do it. I should do it. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I gotta make her decide on her own. She's gotta make the decision. Yeah. So that's what I gotta do. Man, what do you want, pigs? I just want to talk to you. I ain't got nothing to tell you. Oh, we think you do. And I suggest you start telling us exactly what we need to know. Or what? You hear that? It sounded like you just threatened a couple of officers. You know, I do believe threatening a police officer means that we can detain you. Okay, him. okay, come on. It ain't got to be like that. What do you want? You seen this girl? Nope. Be sure about that. Yep. But if I see her, I'll be sure to let you know. By the way, you ever find her daughter, Detective? 
What do you know about that? Hey, just what I read on the internet and see on TV. But you know, it sure seems like you should be the one getting questioned around here, because bitches just be disappearing around you. Hey, hey. I'm gonna rip your hair. Come on, come on. Get out of here, Damn. You don't know what it's like to lose a daughter. You're right. I don't know what it's like. But let's do this shit right so when we nail him, it sticks. Get the fuck out of here, man. Jeff. Uh, what, 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 Jeff, what, 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 where's Dawn? Oh, that hippie guy took her. What? Yeah, that hippie guy took her. So, here's how it's gonna go down. You do what I tell you, and I'll let you live. All the money you make comes to me, and I make sure no one messes with you. Try to hold out from giving me my money, and you wish you didn't. And when you ain't working, you sleep when and where I tell you to sleep. Now, I'm gonna take this gag off. And if you even think about screaming, it'll be held to pay. I won't ever do what you want me to do, you degenerate loser! <sighs> we'll see about that. You'll learn your place. Let me go, please. I promise I won't tell anybody about Shh. this. Quiet. He can't know I'm here. He'd kill me and dump my body if he found out. Please, just untie me then, and I won't tell. I just want to go home. If I let you go, you've got to do something for me. Name it. Just please let me go. You've got to find my dad and tell him that I'm okay, and that if he tries to go after Jackson or tries to come get me, then I'm dead. Who's your dad? Who are you? My name is Ruby Jones. My dad is a detective in the 5th Precinct. He works missing persons cases. I was stupid enough to run away about three years ago and ended up being taken in by Jackson. So why don't you just go home? I wish I could, but I can't. Jackson told me that if I tried to leave or if I ever turned him in, he would have somebody kill my family. And you believed him? He knows where my family lives. And he has enough dirty friends that would do it for him, so yeah. I believed him. So come with me then. We'll find your dad and he can bust Jackson and all of his no good friends. I, I can't go home. I'm so ashamed of what I've done. You're forced to do it though. It's not your fault. I'm sure your family would be glad to have you back. No. Just go tell my dad that I'm alive and that I love him and that I'm sorry for being so stupid. Okay, can you do that for me? I'll promise. I'll find him and tell him. Thank you.
Where's Gary? He is in here, sweetie. Where is he? He's looking for you. What are you doing? Still gonna be dirty. Yeah, you can clean that up too, okay? <laughs> No, he hit me. You know this is self-defense. No, come on, man. This ain't oh. right. You know you better hope he doesn't die. Because if he does, then we add murder charges to what we already have on you. Whatever. He attacked me. Self-defense. We've been watching you for a while. And on top of the assault, extortion, and drug charges, now we can add kidnapping. Which pretty much means you'll be Bubba's bitch for the rest of this sorry ass excuse you call a life. However, if you do give us a little something, maybe we can make it hurt a little less. I'm listening. I already told you, I don't know her. Man, we know who your supplier is. You know what I'm thinking? That when we arrest him, we'll put both of you in the same cell together. And we'll make sure that he understands that you're the one that told us where to find him. Well, that's a lie. You know it. Really? That's how you think this is going to play out? You think he's going to believe you over us? Especially when we tell him how you came in here crying, begging for a deal, telling us about his whole operation? You know, by the time he finds out that you didn't say anything, man, you'll already be dead. Now, have you seen her? All right, look. I tried to get her, but she wasn't having it. Take her. I don't want her. She was at my apartment downtown. Got it. Officer, get this piece of shit out of here. You got it, sir. They sent you? <laughs> That's 
Captain. Come on. Up. Another girl. Damn. You've had worse. Let's go. I did everything I could to find you. I searched everywhere. So I went through all my leads. I'm sorry, I'm annoying. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, baby. I love you so much. I want to go home, Daddy. Well, let's go home. Detective Jones? What's up? I can't find the girl. I think I know where she might be. That's a good start. Tell Detective Smith to come with me. You stay here, handle the process, okay? Roger that. Let's go home. Hey there, Firecracker. You're okay. Hey, Gary. How do you feel? I got stabbed in the chest. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Don't be. I'm not. Everyone has their purpose in life. This was just mine in that moment. I'm glad you're okay. I will never do anything like this again. This is what my own pride got me. Sometimes we need to hit bottom before we can build up. I never realized that. I didn't have it so bad. Thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> no problem. Here, I want you to have him. He's a good listener and he'll be there whenever you need him. He's you. <laughs> Thank you. I promise I'll take really good care of him. I want you to meet my parents. They'd like to thank you too. Okay, I'll be right here. Gary, these are my parents. Gary? Gary? I'm Catherine. I'm Dawn. My friend works at the hospital and I just wanted to say thank you for being there with him when I couldn't be. He regretted how hard he was on you, but he loved you very much. I know he did, in his own way. It's just the way he was, strong and silent. He was a real hero. I just, I just wish I had given him more of a chance to know me. 
But he did know you. You both like to help other people that you didn't know. Thank you.